What's up, Facebook family? This is gonna be a short, but very powerful and dramatic video. I encourage you to share this message. Uh, I am outside, it's after midnight here in Israel, and uh, I have a breaking news report for you guys all over the world, and I wanna tell you something very important um, that is literally going to blow your mind. I realize that the media is being censored all over the world and many people are dealing with so many issues, so many problems and so many challenges in their own countries that you're not understanding and hearing what's happening. Now, I've been sounding the alarm on the tyrannical oppression and the wicked agenda that's unfolding all over the world once again. But it's happening in real time. And Israel, unbelievably, is the leader in this global demonic deception. Can you believe it? I want to share something with you. Please share this video. This is absolutely imperative that people understand what is happening here. This is a red alert. I've continually sounded the alarm. But it's important that you share this message because the mainstream medias are not reporting it in this light they're reporting it as if this is a good thing but it's not it's wicked it's demonic and it's oppressive and i'll tell you why there's a saying in israel that goes never again every holocaust day every year there's a day to celebrate the holocaust to remember not to celebrate what happened but to celebrate the fact that israel has its independent state and never again never again will the jewish people be killed never again will the murder of millions of innocent people take place that is what supposedly this jewish nation is founded upon democracy religious freedom, freedoms of individuals, the right of every person to have their God-given rights respected, to live, to honor, to love each other, to help one another. That is supposedly what they want you to believe. However, Israel has just passed this green passport system. Do you understand what this is? This is a program where they are only allowing the people that have been vaccinated to participate 
in society to go to restaurants, to go to malls, to go to theaters, to go to sporting events. That's right. If you do not submit to this wicked, demonic, tyrannical agenda, if you choose to say, you know what? I'm not ready to participate in this experimental program, then you are now considered a second-class citizen in Israel. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. There is no sugarcoating this. This is exactly what is happening. We need to sound the alarm. Where are the international human right courts on this? Where are the lawsuits? Where is the outrage? Can, are we literally living in the twilight zone? Because what happened? What happened that we have strayed so far into a delirious state of total insanity where people are actually cheering on this demonic, wicked agenda. My grandfather was the only survivor out of his whole family of the Holocaust. And this is exactly how it started with discrimination, with essential and non-essential businesses, with people saying that Jews were second-class citizens. Well, now it's not about Jew. It's not about Arab. It's not about that. No, it's about who will take the vaccination. It, that's right. If you don't do it, you're wicked. You're evil. You're a second-class citizen. This is absolutely wicked, demonic. It's evil. It's from the pit of hell. Who, you know, you don't even have to believe in God to know that this is wrong. What in the world has happened to these people? What has happened to this society? Can you believe it? Honestly, I can't even believe this is happening, but I've been sounding the alarm over and over and over and over again. And it's still shocking. Because everything that I said, everything that I prophesied years ago is coming to pass exactly as I said it. And I'm still shocked. I still don't believe it myself. But where's the outrage? That's what I'm saying. Where is the outrage? This is mainstream news in Israel. We are living in 2021. They're not letting people fly out of the country. They're literally threatening. Do you know that the mainstream ministers, people in the government of Israel, high level government officials are literally saying, hey, you should send the police to the people's houses that aren't being vaccinated. Release the names of the people that aren't being vaccinated. This is wicked, demonic tyranny. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Go to their houses release their names, what kind of manipulation, what kind of bullying, what kind of wicked, tyrannical agenda is this? Oh my gosh, guys, you better wake up. Wake up to what is happening. I'm telling you, it is time to sound the alarm. It is time to go and raise a righteous war cry. It is time for people to understand what time it is. It's happening right here in Israel. Oh my gosh. It is so wicked. It's so evil. You know, this is happening real time, guys. You know, I, I've proclaimed it. I've said it. And I encourage you to share this message because people need to know what's happening. You know, we need your prayers. We've been praying for America. We've been praying for everything that's going on there. And I realize that people are being challenged all over the world you know, being challenged all over the world with different issues and problems. And, you know, this thing is coming all over the world. But, you know, is this, what, what, what is this? You know, this is absolute insanity. I mean, it's absolute insanity. It's antichrist. It's wicked. And, um, you know, if, if the righteous, if the righteous people, if the righteous remnant, if those who see what's happening, and those who have the authority to step in and do something, don't do something, then we're in trouble. And, uh, you know, it's, it's time. It's time that people stand up and, you know, it's now or never. You know, if not us, then who? If not now, then when? You know, this, this is it, guys. This is, it's like the last stand. You know, if we don't stand up 
for what's right. If we don't fight for freedom, if we don't fight for truth, if we don't stand and learn from history, we're doomed to repeat it and it's over. You know, people are so afraid. They're so afraid to say truth. They're so afraid they're, they're going to be labeled something or that somebody's going to censor them. Guys, we're going to answer to God. You're going to stand in front of the throne, the judgment seat of Christ, and we're going to give an account. Who are you afraid of? Are you afraid of these, these wicked, tyrannical oppressors? Are you afraid of the one who sits on the throne? There's a, there's a, a verse in uh, Psalm 94, 16, and it says something like, who will stand with me against the wicked agenda? Who will stand for me against the work of these evildoers? You know, it is time that we stand up for what is right and what is righteous. You know, Ephesians 5, 11 says, have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness. Instead, expose them. We are commanded to shine light on wicked, oppressive agendas. It's part of the victory strategy of heaven. You cannot sit idly by and watch wicked, demonic, evil systems being imposed and not say anything. You have to call it out. You have to sound the alarm. You have to say, no, this is evil. We reject it. We rebuke it. We have to resist this. Okay, guys, share this video. Okay, people do not understand what is happening. And Israel, unfortunately, has been used as a prototype for the nations because if it succeeds here, it's coming to a town near you. It's coming to a country near you. It's coming to your town. Okay, that's why you have to care because if you don't care that it's happening here and you don't care that it's happening there, Eventually, it's going to come to your town. Then you're going to care, but it's going to be too late because nobody is going to be able to help you. And so that is why we must stand up. We must rise up. We must resist this wicked demonic tyranny. We must call it out no matter what. It is time to rise up. It's time to sound the alarm. It is time to raise a standard in the mighty name of Yeshua. Share this broadcast. Get the word out. And let's overcome this wicked demonic agenda. I believe the Lord has a plan for divine intervention. I believe the Lord is going to show up in great power. I believe that the Lord has a plan. But we must participate with that plan. We must stand and do our part. We must partner with heaven. And we must say enough is enough. That's it. Come on, righteous remnant. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. Don't let them scare you. Rise up. Rise up. Sound the alarm. Proclaim the word of the Lord. Have no fear. Joshua says, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be terrified of them. For the Lord your God goes with you to deliver you in Yeshua's mighty name. Let the wicked tyrants be afraid. Let the fear of the Lord come upon them. For no weapon formed against us will prosper in Yeshua's mighty name. Share this broadcast. Take care.